Galileo Galilei, was born on February 15, 1564, in the town of Pisa, Italy. Galileo's father was Vincenzo Galilei, a very well-educated man himself, he was an accomplished lutenist, composer, and music theorist. His mother was Giulio Manatti, and together they had six children, Galileo being the eldest. Of his five siblings, only three survived infancy. Even though his father was a devout Roman Catholic, he did father three further children out of wedlock. Although his father was an accomplished man, he was far from being a wealthy man, and as each child was born, finances grew ever tighter. At the age of eight, Galileo's family moved to Florence, but Galileo remained in the home of Jacopo Borini until he was ten. Galileo's education started at his father's knee, he was taught how to play the lute. When he was old enough and his other siblings arrived, at the age of ten years, he was sent to the Camaldolese monastery at Vallombrosa. He briefly considered joining the priesthood, but after some considerable persuading from his father, he agreed to enroll at the University of Pisa, to study for his medical degree. Although his true passion was for mathematics, his father encouraged the medicine as a physician and far more than a mathematician. It was purely by accident that he happened upon a lecture on geometry, and he managed to persuade his father into letting him study mathematics and natural philosophy. And so began Galileo Galilei's career in the sciences. His first position would be as an instructor in the Accademia dell'Arte del Disegno in Florence. In 1589, he would be appointed chair of mathematics in Pisa. From 1592 to 1610, he took up a position at the University of Padua, and there he taught geometry, mechanics, and astronomy. Galileo would become known throughout history for not one particular finding, but many. He developed many instruments including a military compass. His findings included the phases of Venus. He tested terminal velocity. He was responsible for making his own version of a telescope, and as a fervent astronomer, he was more than delighted with this accomplishment. He was also able to establish that it was the Earth that revolved around the Moon, and not everything else revolving around the Earth, which in turn caused him great difficulties with the Pope and the Catholic Church. He was tried for heresy by the Inquisition and sentenced to imprisonment. This was later commuted to house arrest. Having spent time with his friend Ascanio Piccolomini, Galileo was given permission to return to his home near Florence, in Austria, in 1634. His remaining years were spent there on house arrest. By 1638, he had gone completely blind, was suffering with a very painful hernia, and was also quite an insomniac. On January 8, 1642, Galileo died, having suffered a fever and heart palpitations. Ferdinando II, the Grand Duke of Tuscany, wished to bury his body in the Basilica of Santa Croce, but was unable to withstand the very strong opposition of Pope Urban VIII so he was laid to rest in a small room next to the novices' chapel. He would later be moved to the basilica after the erection of a monument in his honor, placed there in 1737.